Good morning. Today I am standing outside a beautiful house set in a really lovely quiet location in Box. This is a three bedroom semi detached on a road called Barn Peace. And it's tucked away just off the box, um, off the Hazelbury Hill, sorry, and is really close to all the local walks, but also very close just to pop into the town centre. Um, it's really nice and quiet up here. It's got beautiful views. I'll turn around and show you those in a moment. Um, it's got the benefit of parking for one car at the front, but with further parking up the road. Um, I'll tell you more about that as we go inside, um, but let me just swing around the camera so you can see the views. So you can see it's a bit of a misty day today, but we have got beautiful views across the Box Valley at the front. Um, and I will now take you inside the property and see how we go from there. So coming through, we have this lovely stone built property here, beautifully maintained throughout at all times. It's absolutely lovely, nothing to do. This one has been on the market before. You may have seen it before, with another agent um, but unfortunately the vendor had had been persuaded to put it on for a much higher price than probably it was worth and so now we're at a level where it's much more sensible and I would like to think that a lot of people will be very interested in having a look at this now so coming into the living room beautiful room lots of character lots of light from the front here where you've got those lovely views over the front of the property towards the valley you can see just through the window there, there's the parking for the car at the front. You've got a little front garden area and then swinging round just to show you an absolutely gorgeous Victorian style gas fire. Um, and then coming in and around again. You've got open plan into the little extended area. So this is larger than most of the properties up on Barn Peace. Um, it's got a really lovely recessed area here with feature lighting and plenty of space for a good sized sofa and a couple of chairs. Coming through into the dining room area. Now this area was extended and so it's eaten into a very large garden. So it's making absolutely no difference whatsoever to the size of the garden. Beautiful room, again, loads of character, really nice wood floors, a little bit of a quirky curved wall just on the right hand side here which gives you access to a small and useful, especially at the moment, study area. Looking out through the back, which we will go out to in a moment, you've got a really lovely long extended garden, which goes right up to the top and you really need to go out there to appreciate the views at the back and how lovely and secluded that is. There's panning on background. You can see that it's all open plan through to the living space. So it makes a lovely, nice open plan feel. Now I'm going to take you through into the kitchen area. As you see all these lovely, beautiful um, wood doors. So nothing too simple and straightforward here. It's all got loads of character. You've got lovely kitchen, beautifully finished to a really high specification. You've got lovely fitted units, a nice square edged worktop, beautiful glass splashback where you've got the um, double oven, uh, four ring hob and hood. So like I say, all very high specification, lovely ceramic sink overlooking the garden area. You've got a dishwasher included. You've got the washing machine and you've also got the space for the fridge freezer with a very useful tall larder unit. Going through out to the back, we've also got this lovely little rear lobby, which is just absolutely perfect. Full shoes, boots, coats, etc. Now, this property you can walk all the way round in a circle, which is really nice. Very characteristic of um, cottages that they they kind of flow in a circular manner. Um, I've got one of those myself. But coming back into the hallway area. You've got this lovely little bit of hallway, space for a bit of storage, always useful to have. And then we'll take you up through the stairs. So coming up into the stairs, again, really beautifully finished on the walls, lovely colours, nice and neutral, but very modern tones, nothing too magnolia. Again, beautiful views out to the front as you come up here. Little quirky side window. And then we'll take you through first into 
the main bedroom. Let's put the light on quickly. So this is the master bedroom. Lovely original fireplace. I'm a real sucker for character properties with all these beautiful features. Um, nice high ceilings. A little bit of a sort of slope in the ceiling to add a bit of character there. Lovely neutral tones. As you can see, plenty of space for a really good sized double bed. And you've got the extra area. I'll pan round and show you up the garden again. So the rear garden there, taking you out. Views out towards the top, from the top they're going out towards Bath, but we'll go there in a moment. You see the little Velux down to the dining room area on the extension. And I'll just pan back round here to show you the space for wardrobes or a big chest of drawers as there is in this case. And just again, like I say, bags full of character, lovely beautiful rooms and really nicely set out. So the two, the two other rooms are on the sort of large single to small double size perfect for two children good enough good enough size no little tiny box rooms at least but you've got this one set up mainly as a dressing room so we've got a very large set of wardrobes there again a little bit of quirkiness with the slope in the ceiling views out onto the garden beautiful new looking double glazing there it's very modern very up to date with a very um wide double glaze you can always tell you've got a good double glazing on the thickness of that section in the middle come on back through so that's a really good single to double bedroom there you could get a small double in there without too much trouble and then going into the third bedroom again this one is dressed with the bed so just show you very amply that this will get the third Sorry, it will get the single bed in there. This is the smaller room, so it just goes to show the second bedroom is big enough. It's going to pop the light on as well there for you. Again, a little bit of quirkiness with the um, with the slopes and the ceiling. Beautiful doors, nice neutral carpets throughout. Nothing to change at all when you move into this one, apart from you, you know, maybe if you wanted to change this colour scheme to suit. But absolutely, I love it. Again, absolutely stunning views out to the front there. Wish it was a nicer day, you'd get a much clearer view of that again. And then coming back through, last but not least, on this level, you've got the bathroom. I'm going to find the light, which I should have put on first. There we go. That's a little bit better. So you can see really nicely appointed bathroom, lots of neutral shades. So there's nothing that you would want to change immediately. Nice shower over the bath with the shower screen. And... As I said, lots of nice character to it, but with a modern feel. So again, you've got the slopes in the ceiling. You've got this really quirky little cupboard here just to hide all the, the bits and pieces that you would normally expect in a little cupboard in a, in a cottage. So that concludes the interior shots for the moment. And I will come back to you in a moment with the outside. Now going to take you out into the rear garden to show you how quiet and how extensive this area is. Um, it's a shame it's such a gloomy day, but just to show you first off, we have this lovely patio area here with side access round to the front. Obviously pretty useful to have. And then as I pan back round, you can see the door into the little rear lobby area. But just look how long that garden is. And just listen to how quiet it is, apart from me rabbiting on. You, all you can really hear is the sounds of the birds. So coming up the steps, you've got this first area of lawn here. Very private, surrounded by mature trees and shrubs. A little bit of a hint of the views that way at the moment, but you'll see better in a moment as we go up the garden. So going up the steps, you have got this superb raised patio area as well this very large um, stone table and seating the owner has decided to leave so it'll be a bit tricky to get it, to move it on now so this is a lovely feature of the garden that will all be staying as well coming up and around you've got this lovely area of lawn taking you all the way to the back 
really useful size shed again we'll be staying with the property very very handy to have that sort of size of shed in the garden and not lose any space again more seating areas and you can see we're getting a bit closer to the views now just so quiet such a pretty location so worthy of a viewing you really need to come up here and get a, a feel for it and then last but not least the decking area so right at the top of the garden <clears throat> you've got the rear gate there just out to the back but just to come up here and pan back round and show you the open air open aspect that we have at the back here and the fabulous views we have over the Bybrook Valley again wish it was sunnier to show you those in a better manner and just panning back round again to show you the distance of the garden just looking back on the property just to give you a feel of how long this garden is and just to finish off really just to say that this is a lovely property set in a really really popular village perfect for a single person a couple small family um, you've got the excellent school you've got lovely amenities as i might have said earlier the music scene in box is particularly good with excellent local pubs you've got a couple in the village an excellent indian as well top of the hill you've also got um, beautiful views from the quarryman's arms um, you've got the music at the queen's head in box and hopefully when everything comes back a bit more normal in our world that will all be up and running again access to bath is excellent access to caution is great you've got lots of local amenities nearby like the little local butchers and just to recap you really need to come and see this property you may have seen it on the internet before but now is the time to come and have a proper look uh, we can do zoom viewings but i can also do in-person viewings at this time